education is really the door to opportunity. So I'm a strong believer that education is the leveler. No nation can rise above its education level. My Lagos is busy, high energy, and full of potential. I am Miss Anrawane, I'm a social entrepreneur, I am from Nigeria. It is important for me to start the day with a run, reconnect with the city, um, remind myself of what I need to get done for the day, and just sort of get my to-do list in my head. Nissan's to-do list is long, and Nigeria's young people are right at the top. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So my name is Miss Anrawane. I'm co-founder and CEO of WAVE. WAVE stands for West Africa Vocational Education. We're a not-for-profit organization. Our big mission is income transformation to ensure that the youngest, every young African has access to the skills and the opportunity to become what they imagine. We started with 12 young people in a classroom. I looked at them and said, hey, you don't know me from anywhere, but I promise you I won't go to bed at night until I get as many of you a job as possible. Welcome to the next three and a half weeks. Here you're going to learn skills such as communication skills, effective communication, problem solving skills, how to manage your time. Misan, who wanted to be a teacher at a young age, was in school in the United States when she and other students came up with the idea of WAVE. I founded WAVE in 2013. I was at Harvard Business School at the time and I had met with other West Africans who were equally passionate about the youth potential and the youth opportunity that was being wasted on the continent. Desperate to harness that potential, Misa moved back to Lagos after graduation and threw herself into helping young adults market themselves. So most of the students that come through a WAVE program are living on less than $2 a day. Most of them do not have access to a college education. Um, the average age is in their early 20s. Um, and most of them are looking for a leg up just to get a foot in the door in the formal economy. Most of them are working in micro entrepreneurship, hustling on the streets to make a living. And this is the first time they're gonna get access to a steady income. We're gonna go check out one of our alumni. Her name is Salma. She graduated from WAVE about four and a half years ago. And now she's a women's fashion designer. Hi, Hi, Mr. How are you? I'm fine. Good to see you. Same here. How goes it? Good, good. Misan drops in on her former students every year to see how the training is paying off. Well, one of it is the communication, basically, um, that's been able to help me years with um, clients. And um, yeah, you know the way I used to be. <laughs> Very rude when I talk, but now I've been able to apply emotional intelligence and then be able to talk to clients the best way I can communicate with them and then understand them better. At WAVE, the young people that we train in various vocational skills will go into various vocations and different industries and Paul chose to go into the culinary line, so we're very excited to see Paul today. You know when we were at WAVE, we did multitasking skills, you know, so that's one of those things that really helped me, problem solving skills, being able to prioritize, you know, what is important, what is urgent and what is not important but is very urgent. All right, Paul, Thank take you care. Very much. Bye. 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 Successful job placements are a source of funding for WAVE. We have funder partners from all over the world, primarily in the US. Um, we have some local funding partners. Um, and then a third of our, our revenues actually come from our fees. So our academies, um, when we connect young people to jobs, we then charge a training fee, which they pay only after they find work. We charge a recruitment fee to our employers, who also pay when they hire our young people but majority of our funding does come from philanthropy. Hi guys. Hi. Great, how's it going? Good, okay, so what's on the agenda today? Even though she has many eager participants in the program, not everyone is the right fit. One of the biggest challenges that we face is actually talent. Um, the talent organization has talent challenges as well. Um, Finding and retaining and growing the right set of people to help build a vision is, is e extremely critical to our mission. Um, and that is something that we struggle with and work with and continue to thrive at. Um, another big challenge for us is trust. Um, in a system where it's hard to regulate or take any recourse when someone doesn't do what they say they're going to do. Despite that, the company has still put quite a dent in Nigeria's job market. Who would have thought that 
five and a half years later, we would have run over 115 batches. We've graduated over 2,500 young people from our academies. With our replicating partners, they have trained over 6,000 young people um, across Nigeria. Um, and yeah, we continue to grow. In the next 10 years, I see WAVE playing this role of a systems builder, um, working with educators to strengthen the education system, working with industry to make their practices a lot more inclusive of the disadvantaged young people who need a leg up in this country. I hope that the work that we are doing um, will make a dent in the education to employment system. In Nigeria today, we have the next Zuckerberg, the next Gates, whatever you name it, the next Oprah, um, and that young person is just waiting, um, getting ready for that opportunity to meet their talent. And magic. <laughs>